In this episode, we will discuss common challenges for early typers including double letters, eye skips and random letter poking. Hand over hand coaching is discussed and demonstrated in a lesson. We will show you how to coach for success and coach through dysregulation. Please know that my mother is doing her best impression of an early dysregulated typer and means no disrespect. I am not able to help with this because it is hard for me to dysregulate on demand. Ginny, that we actually have you sitting in the chair now and making a lot of mistakes. Okay, let's do it. Right. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to make some mistakes that I have seen um, family members talk mm -hmm. about making and being frustrated by. So right. why don't you tell Okay. Me. Now, um, I want to point out that there are three common errors that new, new non-speakers make when they're learning to type. Yes. Okay. The first is double letters. Double letters. Incredibly yes. difficult for most students. Nobody knows why. Mm -hmm. I don't get uh, upset over it because mm -hmm. I, I'm you know, 99% of the time it's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. We just keep working on it, working on it, and eventually it goes away. Mm -hmm. Okay, for whatever reason, if they're going into the D and they have to go back to the D, they can't get there. They'll mm -hmm. just start tapping all the way around. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. not a problem. Maybe double letters are difficult because we are so often told to stop our repetitive actions, haha. <laughs> Yep. And we just do a big eye reset. We wait a few seconds, mm -hmm. put the board up, mm -hmm. okay, and then we give our prompts again. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. The second common mistake is I call it an eye skip. Eye yeah. skips. Yes. Okay. They're going for the B, but they hit the A. Not a big deal. I say inch, inch right. They go straight over to the C. They go back to the A. They go back to the C. They go back to the A. They just yeah. cannot get it in between. So, if a student does that, they go into the A, I say inch right, they go into the C, the board immediately comes up. This I skipping is so frustrating. We try to move to the next letter, but our bodies overcompensate and skip over it. This will decrease with practice. Mm -hmm. I say, you did an I skip, no big deal. Mm -hmm. yep. We get it right in the middle and we try again mm -hmm. until they can get it. Okay? Let me ask you this, you mentioned not to do the you mentioned not to actually point to the letter never never okay so so let me say i'm the student right and mm -hmm. i have let's say the pencil and we want to make sure i'm holding it right am i holding mm -hmm. this correctly okay just like you're holding a pen, I, you know like, an ordinary pencil yeah but it. then like this yeah. okay random letter poking so let's say put that where you want it and say i'm going so i'm going like this I'm just poking like this. So how do you stop me from just poking like Again, that? Again, remember that you have that hierarchy. Yes. In the beginning, if a student is just completely arbitrarily throwing their hand forward, yes. I will sit and I will do this for a while. A okay. and back. Okay. B and back. Okay. And I literally will just keep having them poke and back until they get a feel. Poke uh -huh. and back. Okay. Okay. If they really can't get that B, they're just skipping and skipping, yes. and if oh. I bring it up and I reset and they can't get yep. it, I might yep. give that little auditory tap. And again. if they still can't, you might do the hand over and hand. And I might go back to the hand over hand. Mm -hmm. The idea, again, for me personally, from what I have found works for me, is success. Mm -hmm. Okay, success breeds success. Mm -hmm. Success means that there's more positive stuff happening, mm -hmm. more positive stuff happening, more success means that students are getting better and better control over time over their body. Hand over hand coaching. So if you had to do hand over hand with me, because I couldn't, because I'm poking all around, right. let's say you want me to get the B, so you do this, and then you help me to get the B. B. Would you yeah, su yeah. would you suggest then uh, then uh, then try to make me do it independently after that? Again, if that depends, yes. I okay. Might, I might say, so, now try it yourself, yeah, and yeah. I might remember go to the next level down. Yeah, tap. Remember, it's here. Yeah, yeah. So tap then get it I'm, yourself. because B. then we're always trying to make sure that the student knows that we're not wanting to help them. Uh, totally to get to it unless they absolutely have to, and that we want to have independence. It is important to have us type independently after hand-over-hand -hand coaching because we form habits quickly and don't want touching us to become a habit. Independence is the game. Independence is the game. That's right. 
okay? But just like the tennis coach might come back up to you and say, you gotta move your hands this yes. way. Yes. Let's yeah. try this again. Yes. And increase their own coaching level. Mm -hmm. We're gonna increase our coaching level as need be. Sometimes you may need to increase your coaching levels if we are having a tough day. Sometimes we just need to get our bodies warmed up. Lesson demonstration. So, okay, we're going to do the next paragraph and we're going to pretend Juni is my non-speaker. Yes. Spiders are arachnids. A-R-A-C-H-N-I-D-S, which is a type of an arthropod, arthropod, sorry, A-R-T-H-R-O-P-O-D. Yes, we are listening and moving around can help keep us calm. That also includes scorpions, mites, and ticks. There are more than 45,000 known species of spiders all over the world. Spiders live in almost every habitat on Earth, except for the polar regions, oceans, and high oh, mountains. Sure. They can be found on every continent except Antarctica. A-N-T-A-R-C-T-I-C-A. -A. And they can range in size from 0 0.011 inch to almost a foot. Spiders are what? beneficial predators that provide excellent pest control in and around homes, yards, gardens, and crops. Though most spiders have venom, V-E-N-O-M, only a handful are dangerous to humans, including the black widow. Notice how Judy is reading at a regular pace. You don't need to read slowly for us. B-L-A-C-K-W-I-D-O-W and the brown recluse, R-E-C-L-U-S-E. -E. Okay, Ginny, I need you to try to sit up in your chair, come around, legs are on the floor. Okay, great. All right, we're going to start with a spell word. Mom is rocking to demonstrate how a typer doesn't have to sit still. You also see how Judy, as the CP, focuses on the lesson, not the rocking that helps calm us. Okay. Okay. Arachnids. Top shelf on the upper left. Up and get it. Up, up, up. Okay. You try to slow you down. Here we go. Ready? A, great job. Top shelf, let's try it one more time by yourself. A, great job. Okay, A and... I noticed you didn't say no. Ah, <laughs> I guess that means you never say no. If a student, in my opinion, if a student misses a letter, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't prompt well enough. The word no can be quite triggering for us because we are trying so hard. Think about a baby learning to walk falling down. You wouldn't say no. Yeah, I didn't make sure that they were set, that they were ready. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did some, I did something wrong, not them. So never say no. Mm -hmm. okay? And the other thing is, you notice that I never say, "Look at me," or "Hands down," mm -hmm. or any of those things. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not important. That's right. The student can be doing whatever they need to do mm -hmm. as long as they are trying. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so why I tell them all the time: if you try, you'll get there. Okay, so we have an A. Are you laughing? She's laughing. <laughs> being, being the Bottom. <laughs> Mom, you do a terrible impression of a non-speaker with autism. Ready, Jenny? Bottom shelf, all the way in the right yeah, corner. Yeah, Down yeah, and get yeah, yeah. it. Okay, it's okay. Let's try again. Bottom right corner, come over to here. Okay, we're almost there. Try one more time. Over here, on the bottom right. Great, great job. Okay, A, R. Next letter, we're going back to that top left corner. Oh, up and get it. Top shelf on the left. Get your eyes up and go get it, get it, get it. Go get it. It's okay. Try again. Ready? Top shelf, upper left corner. All the way in. Get right in there. Go right to it. Beautiful. A R A. Same board. Top shelf, right in the middle. Go right to it and get it, get it, get it. C. A R A C. Mm -hmm. Next letter is, now notice, mm -hmm. I know how to spell arachnids. <laughs> but I'm showing you how slow I'm going. Mm -hmm. There's no hurry in this word. Okay, I'm taking the time, okay, making sure I'm in the right letter. Okay, so we're so far, and I will say sometimes out loud, okay, A R A C. That's what we've done so far. So your next letter is on the bottom, towards the right. Get downstairs with your eyes, down, 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 all the way. 
Okay, great, no problem. The inch over towards the left, get its neighbor. Right downstairs, H. A-R-A-C-H, your next letter is in the bottom left corner, down and get it. Eyes are downstairs, into the corner, mm -hmm. all the way, okay, no problem. Bottom shelf, all the way on the left. Let's try that again. Down, 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 into the corner, N. A-R-A-C-H, N, bottom, all the way to the right, in the corner, downstairs, downstairs, you got it, come on, all the way, great job. I, top shelf, all the way on the right, up and get it, up in the top right corner, keep going, you got it, okay, let's try again. On the right, top shelf, find it, find it with your eyes, get it, get it, D, and then we're just gonna make it plural. Upstairs, top shelf, on the left, up and get it, up, 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 and right in, beautiful job. Okay, arachnids, A-R-A-C-H-N-I-D-S. <laughs> you have fun watching that. <laughs> okay. I know. It's not exactly fun to watch, but it helps for you to understand how tedious typing is for us and how precious every word is. Coaching for success. Now, there are times working with parent with new CPs and new spellers when it can take eight tries yes. to get into a letter. Mm-hmm. Okay, you remember, if they're really struggling, up your coaching level. Yes. Okay? Don't let, let them just flounder. Don't let them flounder. Don't let them keep failing. Okay? If they really cannot get into that Z, yes. whatever it is. Then do hand over hand if you have to. Right. Mm -hmm. You do the tap. If that's not working and you try again, then you hand over hand it. Maybe then have them try it again with a lower coaching level. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So again, the idea is success. Mm -hmm. Right? But success with the least invasive prompt you can. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So over time, as a student's getting better, I'm constantly trying to see sure. what's the least invasive prompt I can use to get them to be successful getting to this letter. Mm -hmm. Coaching through dysregulation. So we'll do one more. Okay. And right now I'm going to skip. There's some more spell words here, but let's do a question. Arachnids are a type of what? So you wrote the question on the pad. Okay, so let's pretend that Ginny right. is a copier. All right. <laughs> okay. Pencil in your hand. Good okay. Job. Okay. And if I fling the pencil, what do you do? Do you go get it or do you then try pen, uh, finger? Or? Again, it depends. Uh -huh. But um, sometimes. Um, or it, eat the pencil. I yeah, mean, we, we've got all of it. Um, I know. I, that's why I do try to get students off the pencil as soon as possible, but if it's not possible, it's not. I usually make them go get the damn pencil. I mean, they, they, they threw the pencil. All right, maybe we'll go with the fingers. So I don't have to go get the pencil. But, you know, we, we do. And just so you know, if you're using a pencil, make sure that it doesn't have a sharp tip. Yeah. That's because right. you can have accidents yeah, and that's things right. like that. That's right. Sometimes, too, if a student insists on holding the pencil at the very end of it so that it's kind of dangling out there, yeah. I break the pencil in half so they have to use a shorter pencil. It gives them better control. Yep. Yeah. Just a couple little tidbits there. But okay. all right, let's, let's, uh, let's answer this one. So arachnids are a type of what? Top shelf, upper left corner, up and get it. And here we're going to form a point. There we go. Mm -hmm. Tom, try that again with your point. All the way. You may need to help us form a finger point many times. Don't worry. We learn how to do it ourselves over time. Hey, great job. Bottom right corner. Pull it all the way down towards the right. In the corner. Mm -hmm. Down, down, down. Inch over. Get its neighbor. Excellent. A, R. Top shelf towards the left. Up and get it. Look, 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 look. Get it. T. Right to it. Excellent. Downstairs towards the bottom right. Down and get it. Look, look, look. Down and get it. Okay, pull back, pull back. Try again. Bottom right corner. Down and get it. All the way. A T H. A sorry, A R T H. Bottom right corner. All the way to the right. Downstairs, Ginny. You want to go right to it. 
It's okay, pull back. Let's try that again. Mm. Bottom right corner, get your eyes down to the right. No problem, bottom right corner. Get downstairs, pull it all the way to the right. Great job. A-R-T-H-R, -A -A downstairs, towards the left. Down and get it, right into it. Okay, pull back, let's try that again. Downstairs, towards the left corner, down, down, down. Okay, no worries, I'm gonna try that again. Let's take a break for a second, okay? Let's try again. Bottom shelf, towards the left, down and get it. Okay, let's inch over a little bit. Okay, ready? Pull back, I'm gonna help you with this one. Downstairs. Okay, almost there. Down and get it, right into that O. Great job, now you try it yourself. Down and get it, right into it, O. Okay, super job. Okay, A-R-T-H-R-O, we have three more letters. Ready? Okay, downstairs, right in the middle, down and get it with your eyes. Down and get it, downstairs, pull it down. Okay, let's give you a second here, ready? Downstairs, right downstairs and get it. Down and get it. Ah, 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 ah. Let's take a break. Your typer may become upset in these early sessions. Please don't interpret that to mean they don't want to type. They are dealing with frustration and emotions. Do you need to get up and move a little bit? Oh. <laughs> I need to move. How are you, Elizabeth? Um, okay. Okay, let's try again. All right. All right. Oh. Okay, downstairs, right in the middle. Here we go. Down and get it. P and inch over towards the left. Down and get it. Great job. And the last letter is A R T H R O P O. Up and get it. Top right corner, all the way right in, and D. All right, so obviously I was trying to emulate as best I could all of the different types of dysregulation, which is the inability to actually, you know, move because there's initiation problems. There's aggression sometimes. Absolutely. I'm, and, you know, we have to understand, right, that sometimes people get very, very dysregulated. And that doesn't mean that they don't want to spell. Oh, 100%. <laughs> In point of fact, really, you do find that over time, as this becomes easier and less frustrating, mm -hmm. okay, that there is a, a certain amount of greater regulation of the body. Yes. Okay. Um, and, of course, it's you got to remember that you're talking to a highly intelligent person who can't make their damn hand get to the damn A. Yeah. It's very frustrating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the tension definitely builds up. Put yourself in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Imagine what it would feel like for your body to completely not be listening to your own mm -hmm. brain. Mm -hmm. You know, you're thinking, get that A, get that A. And for some reason, your hand is hitting the C. Yes. I can't even imagine the level of frustration. Mm -hmm. So I constantly am reassuring them, I know you know this. Mm -hmm. There's not a single molecule in my body that doesn't believe that you can get to these letters. In this episode, you learned about common challenges for early typers, including being able to select double letters, eye skips, and random letter poking. These challenges are overcome with board resets and increased levels of coaching CPs should use the least invasive level of coaching that gives the typer success. If the typer makes a mistake, the CP should refrain from saying no. Use a pencil if the typer cannot point and move to a finger point over time. Typers with dysregulation may need to move around and have breaks. For your typing exercise, choose an age-appropriate lesson from the C4A website. See if the typer can make a finger point or needs the pencil. Look for the challenges of double letters and I skips. Use the least invasive coaching for success. Use more invasive coaching only when necessary. Stay relaxed, upbeat, and have fun. Here it is. Your moment of zen. I K N O W. I know S P. E L L I N G I 
S. I know spelling is H-A-R-D. I know spelling is hard. B U T but D O N but don't E V okay E R but don't ever G I V E but don't ever give you key.